episode 121. What is it about? I you hear, gotta tell I me. hear you kids out there like that New Vegas quite a bit. Ooh, baby, are you giving me a New Vegas episode? Another one in the same month? Yeah. <sighs> episode uh, 121, lore is going to be on Vault 21. I knew it. Um, I was going to say um, earlier in the show, your your turnover host, Olive. Mm. Um, like, like, you like turn down service. Um, but I didn't know for certain if you were going to do Vault 21. I thought I told you. No, you didn't tell me. Oh. You said you had something special planned and you told me nothing about this episode. Um, all right. So, Vault 21 is a reference to the card game of Blackjack. It is hidden under a, uh, it is hidden under, I just wrote hidden under. That's it. Just wrote hidden under. <laughs> it's hidden under the strip itself. Um, it is now being converted into a hotel and casino, one of the few vaults that successfully protected its dwellers. I don't have this. I'll get to it later, but I do not have it written down. Um, everyone in 21 was equal. Uh, the vaults, the vaults layout is perfectly symmetrical and all conflicts were solved with gambling and all of the residents in there were gambling addicts. Which is um, another lovely vault experiment that yeah. just really shows how twisted uh, Vault Tech really is. Like, hey, gambling addicts, you know what you got to do to solve your conflicts? You got to gamble. <laughs> and those, I would love to see like like a comic series of like what this vault was like all about, mm. like when they were in it, like the different like factions that are in the vault gambling against each other. Yeah. That would be like really cool, like I, a web comic. I think a Fallout comic would fucking be amazing like i think it would do really well you know yeah, what i mean I think it would it would slap yeah like dark horse if it's fucking dark horse or idw or iwd whatever it is had the rights to it like they could really fuck it up um all the gambling was done in the atrium and the winner got their way in the dispute this created perfect anarchy no one had any sort of advantage it was all luck i think that's really neat that is really neat if only the world actually worked like that yeah perfect anarchy uh, in 2274, so three years before the events of Fallout 3, uh, House contacted Vault 21's residents with an offer to join New Vegas. Some residents wanted to reject it. Uh, most of them wanted to reject it, but each person challenged the people that wanted it would challenge the people who didn't want it. And it would slowly go up and up and up and up and up and up and up, uh, in the ranks until eventually... Uh, they got their way. This game lasted hours, and um, the v- dwellers that wanted to expose themselves to the outside world won. I couldn't find it anywhere, and maybe you remember it, but I remember talking to Mr. House for the first time and asking him about it, and him telling me that he cheated. Like, he did something to make sure he won. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, c- I couldn't find it. I couldn't find anything about it. I was watching a bunch of Vault 21 videos, and I couldn't... I went on the, the wiki, I looked up House, and I... Maybe I didn't look up House, but I remember looking up uh, Vault 21 and hitting Control-F and typing in Cheat. Um, there's a few residents that you can meet that live within New Vegas that are from 21. Couldn't find anything about it. Um... Once I've ha- never heard that. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. Um, if he didn't cheat, he had a massive influence on something. Once House had control of the vault, he used the tech in it to rebuild the strip uh, with the help of the dwellers from the inside. Uh, when he was finished... Now, was, that, was that his flesh body? No. No, no. It's twenty two. No. It's 2274. So he would have had a Securitron do it. Or not Securitrons. Oh, but- what are they called? Yeah, Securitrons. They are Securitrons? Yeah, because security bots are the little tiny ones. Oh, I always get them fucking... Yeah, yeah, I always get them flipped. Um, When he was done, like, taking all the technology and revamping it, Mr. House filled the lower levels with concrete to make sure that none of the former dwellers tried to retake the vault. Also, there's a series of tunnels that goes under the strip that I want to say is connected from the tops, 38, and 21. Hmm. And you can find, I think it's in the tops, you can find a blasted out tunnel. Like they were trying to dig through and blast it out. And that's probably the real reason why, because especially if the Securitron training base thing is underneath uh, 38, he didn't want people trying to get in or finding a way in on accident. So he filled the entire, he filled these rooms with fucking concrete. 
I just think it's so um it's so interesting that he was able to accomplish so much from just like his bed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Sarah, I, wish I could accomplish that much from my bed. <laughs> I was trying to make a COVID joke out of it, but I was like, that's, that's too easy. Um, Sarah and Sheldon Winthrop, 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 fucking strong German name. Um, Sarah works in 21. She was a resident of 21. Um, and Sheldon Winthrop is Michelangelo who makes the signs in. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, they requested House to leave some of the vault, the upper levels of the vaults to remain open, and he did that, and he turned it into a uh, hotel and a casino. Um, Which is, like, really convenient for the NCR people that just, like, come in on the monorail, because they can get drunk and gamble and stay the night. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, is that the only hotel? But no, all the casinos have hotels. Mm. Um. Because you can unlock them as rooms. Like, you can stay in those, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so, you're, one of your favorite characters is actually from 21, Doc Mitchell. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, um, he left and became a fucking doctor man. The I wonder if his head was on straight at that point. I'm sorry? I wonder if his head was on straight at that point. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> That's never happened to me. <laughs> It's never, it's never once happened. happened it's never happened to me. Now that I say that, I'm going to start a game and it's going to happen, but it's never happened to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I guess the, the mods I use exacerbate the problem because it happens probably like three out of five times for me. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, the vault's blast door has been repurposed into a neon sign. The only part that still exists is the gift shop and small parts of the atrium uh, with beds and a game room and some living quarters. You can find... This is where you can find the Strips Snow Globe, and you can buy a room there and use it as your player home for the rest of the game. Oh, I didn't know you could use it for the rest of the game. Yeah. Is there a little spot to put um the Snow Globes in there? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you can only put the Snow Globes in... In 38. Uh, in Lucky 38, and there's I think there's another place you can put it. I don't know. That's something I want to look up. I couldn't tell you. I have some notes. You want to hear some notes? Yeah, note me. <laughs> the vault's background I music. I can see your face now. <laughs> the vault's background music is Serenity, which is Modox music from Fallout 2. Mm. Um. Although the theme of the vault is gambling, you cannot gamble in the vault. Uh huh. Uh, a picture of James and Catherine. I almost read that as Catherine. I don't know why. James and Catherine, the Lone Wanderer's parents, can be found in uh, 21 in Sarah's office. Uh, you could buy a room. I already said that and make that your house. Uh, the 21's bu- Vault 21's bulletin board is the same from Fallout 3, just with all the 101's changed to 21's. Oh, also, this this is this is one that I really like. According to the New Vegas Collector's Edition, the residents of Twenty One were referred to as Control Group Fifty Two Dash One Four Eight Seven Point Three Vault Twenty One. Huh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's cards, um, and I think you can get them if you play Caravan because you can't get chips, but there's chips um, and cards that say on there that exact thing. Yeah, the only place that there's a snow globe stand is the Lucky 38 presidential suite. So I started writing down a uh, a note here and then just stopped because I saw another note and was like, oh, hold on, I got to I got to write that down. I got to fix something quick. So I have <laughs> 21 is geographically. And then I just stopped writing what I'm supposed to say is just- it's geographically, if I remember correctly, um, in the same place as the Hilton on the strip. Um, and it does like have... the real... The, the real, real like, yeah, in, like, it in makes the real sense. World. Yeah. Um, if you were to, like, line up a map, I guess, it would line up. Um, and that hotel has a bomb shelter, a nuke shelter, uh, underneath it. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. It's geographically correct for where it is. Both Sarah and Michelangelo are, are agoraphobic, and they still talk to each other through, um, I guess, whatever terminal email is called. Because they're afraid like to go outside. Like a peer-to-peer mail. Yeah. 
they're afraid to go outside. So their brother, I think they're, I don't know if they're, they're brother and sister, but they fucking don't see each other. They just email. <laughs> just like me and my sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, the lower level. No, being... I see my family and I love them a lot. Are you sure? Yeah, once in a while. When was the last time you saw them? Um, like three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when I saw you. Yeah. The lower levels of the vault being filled with concrete might be a reference to the Silver Slipper Casino. Um, this is a rumor that Howard, Howard Hughes, the man who uh, Mr. House is based on, filled the giant mechanized slipper with concrete. So I looked this up because I couldn't fucking believe it when I was reading it. Because I, I, I just didn't get it. This is a casino that when you see it, it looks like a Vegas casino. Like it's exactly what you think of when you think of a Vegas casino. And... Howard like big, Hughes. flashy, gaudy. Yeah, and I think Hughes owned it. Um, which, by the way, when I was taking the notes writing about Howard Hughes, look up Hedy Lamar. There's a documentary on Hedy Lamar. This woman was a goddamn genius. I mean, you don't have to do it right now, bucko. Yeah, I wanted to look anyway. <laughs> she she invented Bluetooth. During, like, fucking World War II, she invented Bluetooth. What? She's a ge- dude. She invented Bluetooth and like worked it out and knew how it would work more or less, but didn't patent it. So she didn't make any money off of it. Hedy Lamar is a goddamn hero. She's like Austrian, right? And she like yeah, married she's Nazis. American. Dude, she she like married Nazis and like fled Germany or fled Austria and like came to America and she did one movie and she wanted to be an actor. She did one movie and it was a borderline porno and she got to America and she's like, I want to do real film. Ha ha. And she was like, not RKO. She was for Universal or or I think it was Universal Pictures. She was this monstrous figure and she did a bunch of movies, but she always kind of played like the same character. And she like, mm-hmm. she, she dated Howard Hughes and he, she said he was like the most vapid and shallow person she had ever dated. And this woman was a fucking genius. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. She made blue. My mom called me and she's like, you have to watch this documentary on Hedy Lamar. She's like, I couldn't believe the shit I was hearing. Yeah. But holy shit, she invented the technology that became Bluetooth. Yeah, yes, like that and like texting, I think, because of her. And um, legacy versions of Wi Fi. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, dude, Hedy fucking Lamar. Like, she was an actress and she was beautiful and XYZ, but like, she had the, the biggest of brains. I want to be her when I go, when I grow up. Yeah, yeah. She Jeez. she had the idea because of like uh, missiles, uh, torpedoes. She was like, "Oh, they're controlling torpedoes with like signals. Why don't we do that with like?" Well, if fucking Edison wasn't Edison, we'd have um, and Tesla won, or te- not won, but Tesla got his ideas. We'd have free fucking electricity. Mm-hmm. Wireless electricity, yeah. Which I don't know how that would work now with Wi-Fi. I'm also. That's not my field of expertise, but... Yeah, she she invented a, an early version of frequency hopping spread spectrum. Um, it is a method of transmitting radio signals by rapidly charging the carrier frequency among many different frequencies, occupying a large spectral band. That is yeah. freaking dope. She's the man. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. So, um, that's about everything I have on 21. I'm more interested in in Hedy Lamar now. Yeah, dude, you have to watch the documentary. She's the man. This is amazing. Yeah. Um what's the documentary called? Don't know. Couldn't tell you. I forgot what I watched it on. I don't think it was Netflix. It might have been the Hulu. Um, documentary. We're getting we're getting what do you call it? We're getting Animaniacs back. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Do you have anything you'd like to say on 21 before we move on to the next segment that I have butterflies about? I'm so excited. Um, no, it's not. Honestly, Vault 21 is not that notable in the grand scheme of New Vegas. In my no, opinion. it's not. Yeah. And I think that's I think that's kind of them saying in a way like we've moved past the vaults. Mm-hmm. Like, I think almost in a weird like, I mean, probably not. The poet in me is probably just trying to like find something deeper because none of the vaults are really <laughs> great vaults. Like, yeah. no, they're not great vaults, but like, they're just, they're, it's a, it's a, it's like a, you don't think about it. Like in Honest Hearts, you meet the guy from the vault and they're just like, oh, like you're from a vault. And then it turns out he's not, he just has a suit. 
Mm -hmm. Because, like, I think it's the bug vault. You're like, I've been there. No one lives Uh, there. Is it, um, 21? No. No. Sorry, 22. No? I don't know. No, I'm making a face because we just did the lore on 21. Um, I know. I'm trying to remember the the plant and the bugs. Yeah, and stuff. I don't remember. I I, I think it, it's Vault 22. Is the the planty one? Look it up. You have a computer in front of you. I don't have anything else I'd like to say about 21. Uh, I do like Vault it. Vault 22 is the plant. One. It is 22. Mazel. That's what we're doing yeah. next episode. Um, Atomic Radio Hour.